Backup and Restore. The program saves your data in a database file that is located in a folder on your computer. The location on your screen now is the default location unless you have selected another location. Now where it says username, it is referring to the name Windows uses for your account. For example, Bill Smith might have a Windows username of Bill Smith. The file would then be located in the path for Bill Smith. Now the next bit is very, very important, so please pay attention. You should always make a backup of your data when you close the file you're working in. This means making a copy so that if something happens to your computer or the file that the program has saved on your hard drive, you will not have lost all your information. I recommend that you back up to a USB drive or another drive that is different to the drive that the program is located on, otherwise external to your computer. In fact, you should always keep a recent backup in a different location so that you have the information you need in the event of a burglary or fire. You can email your backup as well. Ok, so here's how to back up your records. Click on the backup icon. Click on the browse button. Click on the save in box and select the location for backing up your file. I recommend a USB drive or a removable hard drive that is separate from your computer. I also recommend you change the file name for each backup so you do not overwrite previous backups in case there is an issue in a newer file. That's why the program has the date appended to the end of the file name. Actually the date is in year, month, day order because this makes it easier to sort on your computer. Every so often you can delete older files but I recommend keeping a monthly backup in your archives. Click on save. If you wish to email your file Click on Email File when Backup Complete. Click on the Backup button. A message will appear advising when your backup is complete. Click on OK. Restore your data. You need to take a lot of care in doing this because restoring a backup will replace any file with the same file name and could potentially overwrite data. Generally, you would only need to restore a file if something has happened to your existing file, such as a corruption from a hard drive crash or virus. So with that proviso, to restore your backup file to the program, click on the Restore icon. Click on the Browse button next to the Restore Source box to select the location of the backup file being restored. Select the file and click on Open. Click on the Browse button next to the Restore Destination Path. The Restore Destination Path is the location on your computer that you will restore the data file. The normal location is shown on the screen and this is the first location that the program will look for your files when you want to open your files within the program. If you want the file to be saved in a different location, change the location using the Save In box. However, we would advise you to normally save your file in the default location. You can also change the file name if you wish to prevent accidental overwriting of data. When you've finished these changes, click on the Save button. Click on the Restore button. A message will advise when the restore process is complete. Click on OK. You can now open the restored file.